Okay, so I got a new bike. Um, that's a pretty big deal for me. I usually do change out my bikes. Um, certainly, I don't keep a bike generally longer than five years. I just find that's, um, I don't know, it's just what I do. There's no real reason behind it, I guess. Um, the Meta AM was very, very reliable, and I don't actually have anything bad to say about it. I think it was a great bike. The suspension layout maybe wasn't as plush as I would have liked, even after um, optimal setting um, with coil front and back and everything else. Um, but overall, it was a really great bike. I had no problems with it, super reliable, uh, pretty low cost to, to run and keep it. And yeah. it fit me really well. So yeah, I, I only changed it out just, just because of the age. Um, even though there's nothing wrong with it, I maintained it. I kept it really nice, and uh, I even transferred the brand new fork that came with this altitude to it before I sold it. So whoever bought it, right, the guy that bought it, got, a, I think, a pretty good deal, actually, because it's in really good shape. This bike here, um, I was kind of looking at the altitudes anyway. I was curious about the new suspension. Um, yeah, I just wanted to try something different, and I wanted the alloy version. This is a carbon one, but this carbon one went on a clearance sale, weekend clearance sale, so I got it for 5k and I just couldn't really say no. Um, it's got full XT and yeah, so anyways I thought, well you know what, I'll try it <laughs> and hope I don't regret it. Um, so far I've only ridden it, this is like my fifth ride, and so I've only ridden it a little bit. I've got the suspension sort of dialed in, I kept the fork from the old bike so that's coil on the front, nothing to do there. Um, yeah, pretty simple setup. Uh, I transferred the carbon wheels over, so I'm running the Noble TR37s. Um, I really like those. I've had really sort of good service with those. I think I've had them now four years, and they've been running great. I haven't had to true them. They've, they've just been really, really, really reliable. Um, with the Industry 9 101 hubs, which I actually really like as well. Again, no issues with those whatsoever. So it's actually a really nice setup. It's much lighter than what I'm used to, and that means it's actually considerably easier to pedal. And the Meta was actually a really, um, I think a really good pedaler. It was a really good bike to ride, just generally really good pedaler. This one, I think just because it's much lower weight than what I'm used to, uh, it, it's not that it pedals better, but it seems like it pedals better. I can pedal it longer. Um, for example, I rode Boogeyman the other day, and I always get off and walk after the log bridge, after it goes uphill on the skinny, and on this bike I just kept pedaling. Um, now you might have noticed I haven't released a video for a while, and that's just because I sold my GoPro 8, uh, sort of anticipating that something better would come out. This video, I'm actually borrowing a camera, it's the Osmo Action 4, and I think it's pretty good. I don't know, what do you think? Seems pretty good. Um, the GoPro 8 was also, in my opinion, very good. Uh, but yeah, it's just getting older and I, again, just kind of like the bike, I just wanted to try something new. So this bike here fits me really well, uh, same as the Meta, they both fit really well. The reach is a bit shorter on this. I have changed the reach cups for the plus five mil, so I've got it at the sort of the maximum reach size. That works a little better for me. This bike seems to corner maybe a little bit better. I'm not really sure. Um, the suspension does seem plusher off the, out of the box, and that's with sort of the stock air shock, which I think is a Fox DHX air can. Yeah, it seems okay. Doesn't seem amazing. I'm not wowed by it. I'm not disappointed by it. Um, yeah, middle of the road. I'll probably switch for coil at some point just to optimize the bike. Um, but yeah, so that's about it. Um, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully so far the carbon experience is a really stiff bike. I'm actually enjoying that. That's actually the biggest difference I notice and I actually can notice it. I don't know if it's just because of the way the suspension layout's designed. In the meta there was a weird thing with a bushing at the back that had a little bit of play. So at that back end actually had a little bit of play, um, which kind of felt like a little bit of flex, even though like generally the bike was stiff, you had that bit of flex in the back. This one here, there's zero play. It's super, super tight and it actually feels very, very sporty, kind of as a result, if that makes sense. So that's kind of the biggest thing I notice right now, is just it's lightweight, um, still a great fit, still great geometry, 
all those things are still good. It's just basically lighter weight and a far sort of stiffer frame, which for me, I, I really like that. So it feels like really, really sporty, really, really precise and more agile than the outgoing meta. I think those are the biggest things that I notice right away. Um, I have had the linkage loosen up already. So there has been reports of that from sort of early adopters. Uh, I uh, had the same problem. I just brought it to the shop and had them tighten it up. Um, but yeah, worth mentioning, that is a uh, sort of an issue versus the meta. I actually had no problems at all for the whole life of the bike. Really no problems. It was just, just so reliable. Um, but I'm hoping now that I've tightened this up that it will also be reliable and I'll have no more concerns. Um, but that's it. So those are my preliminary thoughts.